Sandra here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time visiting this channel, would you please take a moment to subscribe? And at the end of the video, if you enjoyed it or if it did help in some way, would you give it a thumbs up and maybe leave me a comment? In this video, I want to tell you to be fearless. So if you're interested in hearing more, just stick around. As we continue to live our lives, oftentimes we're faced with challenges that scare us simply because we have never been there before. The unknown is scary. When we're in the dark and we feel that we can't find our way out, when we can't find our way through, you know, if we keep moving and don't stop, we will eventually see the light at the end of the, of the tunnel. Carriage doesn't come easy. We take risks, we defy the odds, and sometimes we have to travel the road alone. But God tells us to not be afraid. And he tells us to be courageous. Although we're faced with circumstances that may frighten us, we are still expected to do what he told us to do. Now, I remember when God called me into the ministry and I had no idea what I was going to do. You know, standing in front of people giving speeches was nothing new to me, but standing in front of them with a word that could mean a matter of life or death for those who were listening took me to a whole new different place, a place where I've never been before. Just thinking of the accountability and the responsibility that was resting on my shoulders. And these two things have to be taken seriously. And when God places, uh, or when God put some major tasks in our hands. We have to remember to do it with reverence to him and so that he can get the glory out of whatever we do. And when I stand before people, nervous and all, I dismiss the fear as best as I can and I become fully aware where my help is, where my help is coming from. Now I never get to a point where I feel that I can do it without his help. I never get to a point where I feel like I can do this by myself. And to encourage you, I want to say to you to walk and to live against all the odds, against the impossibilities, and, and, and just let your courage spring forth. Be fearless and be strong. You have to step into that circle of faith and let the Holy Ghost guide you. Now, God already told us, don't be afraid because he's with us. So now we have to tell ourselves that although we are led as sheep to a slaughter, facing circumstances that are difficult, we remain, we must remain fearless because we're more than conquerors, because we are already winners. We're fearless because we trust God. We're fearless because we know who our help is. Tell that carriage, carriage, rise up in me. I will not fear, no more fear. Carriage, rise up. Don't be dismayed and don't be afraid. So where are you, men of courage? It's time to rise up and answer the call that God has given to you. So tell me this, who has the courage to step out and to be bold for God? I'll see you again next time.